Kentucky, and then my alarm went off at 4.50, so I'm a little tired right now. It's 6.40, and there's so much traffic, of course. But we are on our way to the hospital to meet baby girl. Super excited, a little nervous, because I've been through this before, and know what to expect now. It's different the first time around. You don't, you have no idea what to expect, but this time we know. But Chad thinks that she's going to be here today. I don't think she'll be here till like middle of the night, so tomorrow, but we will see. Anything you want to say to your daughter? Uh, I can't wait to meet you. So it is 8.30. I just had my water broken. Um, I'm three centimeters. Still, did she say effacement? I think I'm still 50%, but three centimeters on my own. Um, so they broke my water and they're going to wait to start the Pitocin to see what my body does on its own. So having a lot of contractions. They aren't painful yet, just a little uncomfortable, like tightness, but nothing major yet. So we're just gonna monitor the baby now that my water's broken, see how she's doing. And then they said I can get up and get on the ball and things like that, so. This is our room. Got my ice chips. Oh, the screen went off, so now I can't see the con- Oh, there it goes. So there's my contractions. It's real. <laughs> now it is real. Yeah, they think that she's gonna be delivered today, right? Yeah, probably before, well, they think before seven. And then the we'll new see. ship comes in. It's crazy. <laughs> How you feeling? You I'm nervous good. yet? I'm good. Yeah, I'm nervous, but... Did you get all the stuff out of the car? Mm, there's still a couple bags, but... So that's a about... A paper bag and something else I'll go down for in a little bit. Yeah. So that's about it for right now. We'll update you guys in a little bit. Wherever your phone takes you, the wireless bill is about to cost a whole lot Use less data with a network that automatically connects you to the most Wi-Fi hotspots in millions of places and the best 4G LTE everywhere else, saving you hundreds of dollars a year. And ask how you can get to your mobile including with your internet. Plus, get two devices. So a quick update. It is 11.30, almost 11.40. Um, doctor just checked me and I am almost six centimeters. We have not started any Pitocin. Um, that's just my body progressing on its own after they broke my water. So right now they took me off the monitors and they just have me on the ball. Um, said to walk around if I want and just try to get her a little bit lower. And so far I'm feeling okay. Some contractions are more painful than others but Really, I'm, I was shocked that I was at a six and I haven't um, needed the epidural yet, but I also don't want to wait too long because if I do progress really quickly, I don't want it to be too late and then I can't have an epidural, so we will see. But my husband's sleeping right now. And I was laying in the bed and kind of felt like I could keep dozing off, but um, you know, they, they're constantly coming in the room and then, or I'd have a contraction or, you know, I try to switch over to one side and then they couldn't hear the baby's um, heartbeat so they had to come in and fix that. So I don't think I'm gonna sleep, um, but that's okay. I'm just trying to relax and just, you know, not really use much energy right now because who knows, I could be pushing in just a couple of hours, so. We will see. My contractions are getting very painful. Um, I'm still at a six, but she said the baby's head has come down a lot more. Do you remember what she said, babe? A neg oh, negative one or something? Something like that. So, there 
there's my contractions. Okay, so how long ago did I get my epidural? Uh, uh, 25 minutes ago. That's it? So now I'm finally propped up after having to lay flat. I'm still feeling a decent amount of pain, but not as bad as they were. I'm really numb <laughs> on my lower half, but like my lower abdomen is where I feel the contractions. But I don't know if there's much they can do about that at this point. So last we knew I was six centimeters and I don't know when they're gonna check me again but or if they even do um, so now I'm just trying to relax and just hanging out <laughs> wait for the baby just a waiting game but they said she will definitely be born today it's 2 30 right now so we'll see you're just waiting to meet you and he got to eat a buffalo chicken sandwich sorry about that <laughs> And there's a Shake Shack right down the road from here, so I told them that's probably what I'm gonna want for dinner. So that's what I'm looking forward to right now. Well, obviously in meeting my baby, but <laughs> the, the, the burger sounds really good. <laughs> So she's going to get the anesthesiologist because I'm not really having any relief at all. I'm about to have another contraction. different anesthesiologist came in and redid my entire epidural he said the anesthesiologist before put it lower in my back um, and that he normally does it higher so he redid it and did it higher and now I feel like a million bucks um, I feel so, I'm just really shaky but I feel so much better I was gripping these handlebars and even was crying through a few of the contractions because they were that bad but I'm having huge contractions right now and I can't feel a thing like nothing so pretty happy about that right babe yeah it was it was rough but as soon as I got back in here I could see the relief on her face after the second after all yeah and it was I don't like I think she noticed her her contraction uh, just a couple no, of like, 
take that and show how big that one is. Right. That most recent one, I didn't feel a thing. Yeah. So. <laughs> so feeling <laughs> feeling much better. Thank God. It's four thirty-five. And I don't know when they're gonna check me again, but they said even though I'm my legs are so insanely numb I can barely move they had to like move my entire body, but um They said I'll still feel the pressure to push so I don't feel that yet So I'm gonna try to nap, but I don't know if I can <laughs> That's about it for right now All right. Bye guys <laughs> Okay, so it is 6.40 and I am 10 centimeters and baby is at station zero. So we're just waiting for her to come down a little bit more because um, I am so numb that I do not feel the urge to push whatsoever. So they turn the epidural, they were going to turn it off but they turn it to one cc an hour um, just so that I have like some pain medication. And they said it could honestly be another hour or two hours before I like really feel that urge to push. So we're just relaxing right now. I'm pretty tired. I have not slept. I've just like rested, but I haven't fallen asleep. So how are you doing, babe? Um, hang in there. I got a, a little bit of a nap in earlier, so I'm not as tired as you, but sorry. About it, just eating ice chips <laughs> and waiting to meet this little princess. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I'm nervous, but it's like that anxious nervousness, you know, just like. Oh, good. Um, yeah, normal doctor should be here soon. Yeah, or, she's probably already here. Yeah, she just hasn't come in yet. So we'll see. See how long it takes. Hopefully, I don't push for an hour and a half like I did with Caden, but. So have to wait and see. I'll update you guys in a little bit. Bye, guys. I lose my breath whenever I see you. I had a surprise couple weeks ago. You stole my heart. What is it that you do? My life was great.
<laughs> I just want to love you, I just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You said my world all right. Okay guys, so it is the next day. My battery died after she was born and then it was just a lot of cuddling and breastfeeding and recovering so we're just now picking up the camera but looking a little rough, a little tired. How you doing baby? I'm all right. We got some sleep because they took her to the nursery twice so that was good, it was much needed. But she is perfect, she's so good. She's going to the bathroom and she's eating like a champ and she's sleeping like a champ. I know that's not gonna last forever but she's so sweet. <laughs> right now I'm just loving on my little princess. She's so sweet. She's such a good baby. She's eating really well still, going to the bathroom, sleeping. So adorable. And I'm pretty sure we're actually going to go home tonight, so um, that's exciting. It's a little nerve-wracking, but definitely exciting because as much as I um, love the nurses here and everything, it's so hard to sleep and be comfortable. You know, oh my god, my hair is a mess. <laughs> but they're just coming in the room constantly, which they're doing their job, I get it. But um, it's like once you fall asleep, someone else comes in and, you know, has to check you, has to check the baby, and then you gotta try to fall back to sleep, and it's exhausting. So I'm a little nervous about going home, but um, I definitely am looking forward to sleeping in my own bed. It's not even like we've been here that long, so I can't complain, but I'm ready to go home. We're getting ready to go home. Going home. You gonna go meet your brother? Oh my god.